All right, the beginning of the single note, picking with the eighth notes. Remember to focus on keeping it nice and clean. No palm muting right now. When you were doing some palm muting last night, it sounds like we got to work on getting the technique improved a little bit. This way you're not having strings ringing out. But when you don't palm mute, it sounds a lot better, I feel. So, got to keep it clean. Keep it clean. And here we go, 60 for number one. One, two, three, four. I think the microphone might be a little too loud. Let me make a little adjustment here. Okay. On to 120. One, two, three, four. One eighty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Repetition one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, number two, sixty one, two. Three, four. One twenty, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Repetition. One, two, one, two, three, four. Number three, everything on the low E, constant picking, 61, 2, 3, 4. Twenty one, two, three, four. One eighty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two forty. One, two, one, two, three, four. Repeats one, two, one, two, three, four. All right, number four. Ah, oh, yes, the chord strumming stuff. 
So you can really play this any way that you want. Still want you to get good takes with all the with the chord progressions that are already there. So you could do this just to simplify things since you're still working on getting better at changing the chords. So you could do like a four count, strum for three, and then on the fourth beat start moving your hand into position for the next chord. So like one, two, three, switch the chord, 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 repeat, two, three, switch, one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, switch, one, two, three, switch, done. For the final chord, just throw it once. Sounds like more of a of a finishing thing, more of a resolve than strumming it three times again. So it's one and done for that last chord. So like the next one, and you could do it even less. You could do like two strums if you need to. So like one, two, switch to the next chord. One, two, switch to the next chord. One, two, switch to the next chord. One, two, start the repeat switch to the next switch to the next switch to the next switch to the last and then fill in the chords for the other keys and um, yeah if you can do an open chord like if we covered one in that big old sheet that you filled out, use that. Or use a bar chord or a movable shape. But try and keep it as simple as you can. Keep it close to the nut uh, as much as possible. So we don't want to be going way up here right now. Keep it down in this area. If possible. If possible. I think that about covers it. Alright, any questions let me know. I will see you again next week. And yeah... Go ahead and just start working on getting the new shapes just one at a time. And uh, hopefully all the work that you have done with the other scale shapes will help. And you'll see how similar these shapes are and patterns keep getting repeated all over the place. Alright, that's that. See you next week.